Sun, Sun, Mr. Golden Sun, please shine down. 
and toes, knees and toes Head and shoulders, knees and toes, knees and toes And eyes and ears and mouth and nose Head and shoulders, knees and toes, knees and toes more time! Head and shoulders, knees and toes, knees and toes Head and shoulders, knees and toes, knees and toes And eyes and ears and mouth and nose Head and shoulders, knees and toes, knees and toes Great! Good job! Today's story is Cinderella Cinderella, a kind and pretty girl lived with her bad-hearted stepmother and two jealous sisters. Her stepmother and sisters bullied her every day and made her do all the housework. Cinderella, where are my shoes? Cinderella, where did you put my hairpins? Cinderella? You have to clean and also do the laundry! One day, a ball was held at the castle. So, her stepmother and her sisters wore pretty dresses and nice shoes. Cinderella was desperate to go to the ball. Please, take me to the ball too! But the stepmother said, No! You don't have any pretty dresses! And you don't have nice shoes either! She only took her sisters to the ball. Cinderella was crying because she was so sad. But suddenly, a fairy appeared! The fairy? The pumpkin, the mice, and the lizard. Cast a spell. Ta-da! The fairy snapped her wand. Then a carriage, a horse, and a horseman appeared. And Cinderella had a beautiful ball gown and glass shoes. You must be home before 12 at night, said the fairy. Cinderella went to the ball. The prince saw beautiful Cinderella. May I have this dance? The prince danced with Cinderella only. Then the clock chimed. Ding, ding, ding. The clock struck 12 o'clock. When she was running, she lost one of her glass shoes. Then the prince found the glass shoe. And his servants searched for its owner. Finally, they came to Cinderella's house. And the shoe fit her perfectly. Wow! The shoe fits! Cinderella went to the castle with the prince in her glass shoes. I have found you at last! Cinderella married the handsome prince. And they live happily ever after. Today's story is about Snow White. In a very beautiful palace, Snow White lived. Snow White was very, very beautiful. When Snow White was very young, 
her mom died. So, she lived with her stepmother, and her stepmother, the queen, had a very bad spirit. The queen had a magic mirror. And every day, she would ask the magic mirror. Oh, mirror, mirror, who is the most beautiful person in the world? That would be you, the queen. When the mirror replied, the queen was delighted. Snow White grew more and more beautiful. Then the queen asked the magic mirror again. Oh, mirror, mirror. Who is the most beautiful person in the world? That would be Snow White, replied the magic mirror. When the queen heard this, she was angry. So she called in the hunter. You must take Snow White to the forest right away. And you must kill her secretly. But the hunter, who had a good heart, couldn't kill Snow White. Snow White, you must run away now. The queen wants you dead. Snow White ran far away and found a small cottage. Snow White went inside. There are seven little plates and seven little beds. I wonder who lives in this house. Snow White cleaned up and made dinner. Then, fell asleep on one of the beds. At night, the seven dwarfs came home. Someone is sleeping in our bed. Who are you? Snow White told her sad story. Then, the dwarfs said, Snow White, you live with us now. And they shed tears for Snow White together. So Snow White and the seven dwarves lived happily ever after. Then one day, the queen asked the magic mirror again. Oh, mirror, mirror. Who is the most beautiful person in the world? That would be Snow White, who lives in the forest, replied the magic mirror. When the queen realized that Snow White was still alive, she was furious. This time I'll get rid of her myself. The queen disguised herself as an old woman. She took a poisoned apple and went to where Snow White and the seven dwarves lived. When she saw Snow White, she spoke to her. Oh, beautiful lady, this is a very tasty apple. Would you like to take a bite? When Snow White took a bite of the apple, she collapsed. The seven dwarves came home and were very sad to see Snow White collapsed. Just then, the prince walked by and stopped. What's going on? Snow White is dead, said the seven dwarves. The prince picked Snow White up in his arms. 
and kissed her beautiful face. Just then, Snow White spat out the piece of apple stuck in her throat, and she came back to life. Wow! Snow White is alive! The seven dwarves were so happy. The handsome prince and Snow White got married and lived happily ever after. <laughs> Today's story is The Happy Prince. Once upon a time, there was a statue of a prince in a village. It had a sword studded with rubies and eyes made of emeralds. Covered in gold leaf, it was the statue of a happy prince. The statue of the Happy Prince was said to bring happiness and love to the people in the village. Oh, my wings need a break. Oh, I should stay by the Happy Prince today. A swallow decided to spend the night resting on the statue of the prince. The next morning, the swallow oh, slept well. The swallow saw a crying prince. Prince, why are you crying? said the swallow. The prince spoke as he cried. <laughs> swallow, I see a little boy lying sick. But the boy is too poor to buy medicine or get food. Swallow, can you bring this ruby to the boy? The swallow flew to the boy with the ruby, even though she was worn out. She dropped the ruby on the boy's bed. Get well soon. The following day, the prince was sad again and said to the swallow, Swallow, I see a young man crying on a bench. He wants to be a painter, but he cannot afford paints. Can you take one of my emerald eyes and bring it to the young man. The swallow had to fly south, but agreed to bring the prince's emerald eye. The swallow flew with it and placed it next to the young man. Be a great painter. The weather is getting colder and colder. The next morning, with another sad look on his face, the prince told the swallow, I see a little girl selling matches in the street. But she has no warm clothes and no one to take care of her. Can you give her my other eye? The time for the swallow to leave was getting later. But she agreed to bring the prince's other eye. The swallow flew away with the emerald eye and dropped it into the girl's basket. The girl was delighted. The prince now had no eyes. The swallow was very worried about the prince and said, Prince, I cannot leave you alone. I'll stay by your side. From that day on, the swallow became the prince's eyes. Every morning, the swallow would look around the village And if she saw anyone in need, 
she would tell the prince. And she would strip bits of gold from the prince's golden robe and give it to someone who needed it. A cold winter arrived, and now the prince had nothing to give to the people. And the swallow died peacefully by the side of the prince. The villagers buried the swallow, tore down the statue, and cast it into the fire. The happy prince disappeared from the village. But the swallow and the prince met in heaven and lived on happily ever after. Alice Ballet.